is Jesus. Hey y'all, Fresh Future, it's Minister Tiffany here, and guess what? We're back for another Sunday. Another Sunday for what, you ask? To learn about Jesus, of course. What else would we be doing here? But today, we have a teacher who is going to take you through the entire lesson on their own. Did you hear that? The entire thing. So I'm here to just introduce you to another episode of Fresh Future TV. We are Fresh Future, the youth ministry at Fresh Start Christian Center. So please go like and subscribe to our Fresh Start page as well, as you also subscribe to Fresh Future TV. Now, before we get started with today's lesson, I wanna do a little review. Question number one, what was David doing while Samuel was going through each of his seven brothers to see who would be the next king? he was tending the sheep you are correct great job question number two what made David different from Saul David was a man after God's heart. You guys better be in that chat typing. You're getting a little lazy on the typing. I need you typing. All right, question number three. What does having a heart of repentance mean? Having a heart of repentance means that your heart is soft and open to correction and change. So today's lesson is going to be all about going. Disciples, go. Everybody say, go, go, 
go, go, go, go. Who's next? If it's you, go. But before we go, we should know that the Great Commission was when Jesus told his disciples to go into all the earth and preach the gospel, proclaiming it, teaching the people and baptizing them in the name of Jesus Christ. So that is what we are going to be teaching on, but from a new perspective. So I hope that you gain some new insight on what it means to go into different lands and what it means to be obedient when you go, because we're getting ready to start in Hey Fresh Future, it's Shalissa and today I will be your teacher. As you know, we're diving into week two of our series, Disciples Assemble. If you haven't watched last week's video, which was the Disciples Heart, then at the end of this, you should go back and watch it. Are you guys ready? I'm pretty excited. All right, let's go. First, before we do anything, let's open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for always loving us. Lord, we pray, Lord, that we will spread your word and spread your gospel. Lord, we pray, Lord, that we will spread your love all around the world. I pray, Lord, that we will be kind, caring. Lord, and I pray, Lord, that we will spread love to everybody on earth. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for giving us breath and life, Lord, to be here walking on the earth today. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's get started. Script time! <laughs> Let's start off with our first scripture for the day. Mark 16, 15 through 20. And it says, Jesus said to his followers, Go everywhere in the world, tell the good news to everyone. Jesus is giving us an order so that we can spread his gospel. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved. But... He who does not believe will be judged guilty. And those who believe will be able to do these things as proof. They will use my name to force demons out of people. They will speak in languages they never learned. They will pick up snakes without being hurt. And they will drink poison without being hurt. They will touch the sick and the sick will be healed. So in Jesus' power, we have order. After the Lord said these, things to the followers he was carried up into heaven there jesus sat at the right side of god the followers went everywhere in the world and told the good news to the people the lord helped them the lord prayed that the good news they told was true by giving them power to work miracles hey fresh future it's minister tiffany here and do you know what time it is It is time for praise and worship. And praise and worship is a time where we can praise the Lord for all that he has done for us and truly thank him and worship him for who he is. He is our father. He is the one who gives us life. He gave us the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of us. And we just wanna take this time as an opportunity to thank him, to honor him, and to glorify his name. So, this is what you could do. You can lift up holy hands. You can shout hallelujah. You can dance around your house. You can knock on your neighbor's door and say, hey, come praise the Lord with me right now. You can do anything that will glorify God in this moment that will say, thank you, Lord, for what I have. And that will also say, thank you, Lord, for who you are. So get ready, unfasten your seatbelts, 
get ready to be free in the Lord, dance around, jump around, have a good time. We want freedom to break loose in your house. So whatever you, if you need to take a victory lap, tell your parents, before I get in trouble, I'm letting you know that I'm just gonna run and take a victory lap because God is good. If you need to clap your hands real loud, stomp your feet, even if you have neighbors that live under you, you do it because you're glorifying the Father in heaven. Let's get ready for praise and worship.
Okay, now I'm going to introduce you to character. But first, let me get my outfit together. All right, that's way better. I want to introduce you guys to a character that you may or may not be familiar with, Captain Marvel. She met with the Supreme Intelligence, which basically embodies the Empire's greatest minds. Something that the Supreme Intelligence wanted Carol to know is that she was fit to serve, she struggled with her emotions and past that fuels them, she has to put people's feelings in front of her own, she was given a great gift, she had a mission and that she was to serve well and to honor. Carol had a mission that she had to complete and she listened and she did it. Now there was a man in the Bible named Philip who had to do the same. Let me tell you about him, but first let me change. Okay, Philip was a man who got a mission from God to go and spread the gospel. Now I'm not gonna tell you too much, but instead we're gonna watch this video. Stories of the Bible, Philip and the Ethiopian. This is Philip, Hello. who was one of Jesus' disciples. Yep. Philip preached the good news of Jesus in many places. One day, an angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, Go south down the desert road. I hear that. So Philip started out and he met the treasurer of Ethiopia. The man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and he was now returning to Ethiopia. He was in his carriage reading the book of Isaiah out loud. Hey there. The Holy Spirit said to Philip, go over and walk along beside the carriage. Okay, I can do that. Philip ran over and heard the man reading and asked, do you understand what you are reading? The man replied, how can I, unless someone teaches me? Come on up here. And he urged Philip to come up into the carriage and sit with him. Those parts here. The Ethiopian asked Philip, tell me, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this scripture in Isaiah, Philip told the Ethiopian the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water. Wait, 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 hold on. And the Ethiopian said, look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop. Stop. And they went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and took him to another town. The Ethiopian never saw Philip again, but went on his way rejoicing. That was an amazing video. In the beginning, an angel comes to Philip and tells him to be ready and go south to the road that leads down from Gaza to Jerusalem. And he listened. When Carol, Captain Marvel, when she was assigned her mission, she also was. Philip followed the instructions that God gave him. And we should do the same. When we get instruction from either God or our parents or people above us, we should always follow their instructions. Philip didn't hesitate to follow the order of evangelism. In the video, it says that when the angel told him to stand near the chariot, he ran to it. Notice that he didn't question the angel's order. He immediately did it. When we have orders, or when someone gives us orders, we shouldn't hesitate. We should immediately do it. Now it's time for your three key takeaways. Key takeaway number one. Never, ever, ever hesitate when you get an order, or just in general, never hesitate to do anything. Number two. Follow orders or directions. When you follow an order or direction, you're most likely to not get in trouble and to not do the wrong thing. Number three, of course, spread the good news to people. If you spread the good news to people, you are making disciples and they will make sense. Now I have some questions for you guys. Number one, when the angel came to Philip and told him to go south, did he hesitate?
hesitate to follow the order of evangelism. You're correct for question number two. If you said that the Ethiopian asked Philip to baptize him, then great job. Number three, final question. When Philip was done, where did the angel take him to next? You were right. Let me just tell you, obedience is key. When the Holy Spirit tells you to do something, it's important that you do it, that you don't hesitate, that you go immediately because when you do those things, you will get immediate results. Philip listened to the Holy Spirit and this man in the chariot, the eunuch, he decided to accept the Lord as his savior right away. Imagine what life would be like if we were more obedient and we were first time listeners. This means our parents don't have to ask us to do something more than once without us acknowledging and doing it the first time. This goes the same way for when we hear God speaking through people or we hear him for ourselves. Be obedient. Thank you, Jalissa, for teaching us about Captain Marvel and about Philip being an evangelist. Now, it's very important that we understand who we are. We are children of God and we are disciples. So if you have not received the Lord as your savior, there's two things you have to do. Can you count with me? One, two, only two things you have to do. The first one is declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And secondly, you have to believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and that's it. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 verse nine that if we do those two things, we are saved and we are now children of God. And as children of God, it's important that we remember that we have a task and that task is to go make disciples. So go. Fresh Future, let's pray. I am a King's kid. I am called by God to do good works. The Word guides me and Holy Spirit teaches me. I will love God's people. I will be a disciple. I will make disciples. I will do your will. Send me, I'll go. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. What? <laughs>